Today, I'll tell you the story of how I ended up getting more than 380 pairs of football boots for free. And also, I'll give you some tips on what you can do to maybe one day have a chance of doing the same. And while that intro does sound pretty flipping good, maybe a little too good, let's take a step back here, because while I have got and bought a whole lot of boots ever since I started this whole nerd thing, I've actually gathered most of the boots in relation to my work here at Unisport, doing videos, playtests, reviews, skills videos, all that jazz, you name it. So, as I see it, I'm in a very special and extremely fortunate situation here, and for me, the boots haven't really been for free but more for work. Cheerio. But the story began back in 2008, when I just applied for the Unisport job. And while back then my collection was alright, it wasn't the biggest. But still, I had the passion and the willingness to spend more or less all my money on football boots. So imagine what it was like getting hired and paid to get football boots and get to review them. So yeah, I was pretty psyched. So as the years went by and I got to try more and more boots, my collection grew to the point where I tried everything that was moving in the market and where the shelf behind me needed expanding two, three, four times. But the thing that made me the most blessed was that not only have I got to wear 95%-ish of all my boots, I've also got to do it on some of the biggest stadiums all around Europe. But you probably came here to figure out how you can get boots for free and become a so-called boot influencer. And while I absolutely hate that word, I have learned a thing or two over the years. Because honestly, getting to a point where you have regular access to a whole lot of football boots or even get sent boots for free is a major privilege and not something that many people will get to do. The first thing is to do is wait until I step down and then take my job. But I don't have any plans of doing that anytime soon. Instead, you should really think about how you can provide value to whoever you think might want to send you a free pair of boots. Because look at it from a brand's perspective, they get tons of requests every day from people who want a free pair of boots in exchange for an Instagram post or a YouTube video. So you gotta make them understand why they should choose you. In other words, instead of just messaging the brand saying, Hey bros, send me free boots, y'all, and I'll review them. Think about how you can provide them with value in return of the boots they just sent you. Because in this world, nothing is free. What I would do instead is to build a loyal base of followers who likes what you do. So do your thing. And if it's cool enough and stands out enough, people will appreciate it and start following you more and more. And to the brands, they will see you as a more credible way of spreading their message by da -da -da -da, sending you free stuff. What I would also advise against is reposting other people's stuff. Because let's face it, it doesn't make you very unique. Instead, I would focus on working with what you have, even though it might not be very much at first, because in the end, it's all about the passion and what comes from you. So once you have a loyal follower base that you're happy with, you can start putting together a plan of what you can offer to the brands, and then you can start reaching out. Maybe start with the smaller brands so you can build up a relationship, and hopefully things can just start snowballing from there. Now would probably be the time where I take you through every single pair of my collection, but doing so would probably take me an hour and a half or more. So if you want to see that video, hit me up with a comment down below or vote in the poll right over there. And until I potentially decide to do that video, you can check out what my collection looked like in 2017, where it was also pretty massive. And it took me a whopping one hour and 17 minutes to talk you guys through it. And if you want to see that, well, you can click the card right up there. And there you have it, my friends. The story of how I ended up getting more than 380 pairs of football boots, more or less for free, and bought a good chunk of it myself as well. But how many boots do you have in your collection? You should let me know in the comment section right down below, as always. 
And if you're like me and you absolutely can't stop buying football boots, you can get all of the latest, coolest new boots if you click the link and go to unisportstore.com right over there. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go subscribe with the notifications on by hitting the green bubble up there to see all our latest videos the second they drop. And finally, go learn some very cool new football skills by clicking the playlist right over there. And with that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.